Guys, welcome back to another video. This is code for this round 896 due to and we're gonna solve the first problem that is make it zero. So they are telling that uh, we'll be given a set of numbers uh, array A and the length of the array will be at least two and our goal is we have to make this array as zero. So in order to pro get this uh, result we need to perform a set of operations. So the operations rules are like we need to identify two indices L and R and uh, take the XOR of that subarray then we'll get a result right replace that result with whatever values we have taken so for example uh, if the numbers are like 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, I am trying to select uh, indices uh, like these three indices right L and R so what I have to do is I need to take XOR of these values so suppose let's say the XOR of these values are X I need to replace X with the L to R range so it will be 1 x x x 5 so they are telling that this operation can be performed at max 8 times and uh, before that we should be able to say that after performing these operations every number in the array should be 0 uh, they are telling that the answer always exists so if the answer exists we need to show them what are the ranges that we took and how many operations took place to proceed here so let's understand this with the help of an example so it will be more clear so first they told there are uh, four numbers and 1 2 3 0 is the integers so what did they say l to r they took 1 2 3 0 as whole then they got the number as 0 so if you get 0 you need to replace 1 2 3 0 with 0 0 0 0 we already got the result so that's why they kept uh, with one operation I took L value as 1 and R value as 4. I changed the entire array to 0. Now let's take the third example here that is 6154147. So for this they told 154147 they took LR as 15. 15's XOR is 4. So they replaced 15 with 44. They took 41. 41's XOR is 5. They replaced 41 with 55. Okay. And similarly, like here, uh, they performed these operations and 533, 533 is XOR is 5. So they replaced these three numbers with 555. At last, they took XOR of all the elements and then they made it to 0. Here, they took only 6 operations. Uh, so they are writing like 6 operations. These are the indices that they took. So within less than 8 operations, they are able to find it. So before uh, doing all of this, right, we want to know what an XOR is. So for those of you who don't know, XOR is like if there are same numbers, the XOR is 0. If there are different numbers, like uh, the XOR is 1. So if it is 0, 0, it's 0. And if it is like 100, 100, it will be 0. And if you remember, uh, on, on day before yesterday's contest for problem E, it was also XOR problem. We found that if the numbers are same, it is 0. And 0 XOR 100 is a 0 XOR X will be X, right? So in the test case itself, we identify that if the numbers are same, the XOR will be 0. But in what case? 100 XOR 100 is 0. But can I say that X XOR X is 0? But can I say that X XOR X XOR X is 0? It is not, right? Because only even number of times XOR is of the same number is 0 x x or x is 0 but here 0 x or x is what it is x so if x x or x x or x x or x if there are four means this is 0 0 x or x is x then again x x or x is 0 so the uh, observation is like if there are even number of same numbers i can say that it is 0 if there are odd number of uh, same numbers we can't uh, if we take the xor it will be the same number only so now uh, the answer is very trivial right now so if it is 1 2 3 4 or something so for 1 2 3 4 if we are getting the XOR we can take all the numbers okay we should have a standard solution so within 8 steps we should be able to find out for 1 2 3 4 if the XOR is X what will we do X X X X so if it is even number of X's means I can take uh, all the ranges I can take XOR of all of them it will be 0 so answer will be 0 0 0 0 so it can be any number so what did i say if there are even number of numbers i can do it two operations and uh, the starting is one first index and the set, last one is nth index so i get the same number then again i do the same operation from 1 to n again i will do because i know it's zero it is 1 to n but what if it's odd so let's try for odd 1 2 3 4 5 so if we take the xor of 
1 to n what happens if we take xr of 1 to n if this is x it will be x x x x x right so the xr of all of them is what it's not 0 it is x so in order to make this as 0 what will i do i need to uh, try to get the maximum possible uh, to make it as 0 so i'll take the even number of indices here that is 1 i am ignoring i am taking the even numbers so 2 to n i am taking so if i take 2 to n the xr of all of this is what the xr of 2 to n will be 0 okay so it will be x then the values only i am changing here 0 0 0 0 i am not touching it anything here this is directly going only this is changing now i got one i need one uh, one more x to make it 0 so what will i do x x or 0 i will do so i'll take these two 1 2 so what is the xor of this x so i can take like uh, x x 0 0 0 now what happened x x is an even number i can make it as 0 so i'll take 1 2 again okay so if i take 1 2 the answer is 0 right now it is 0 0 0 0 0 so we got a standard solution if there are uh, even numbers we know that uh, for even numbers i can take the entire element zero and then directly i can perform the operation same operation again with same index zero 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 but for odd numbers we have around four operations so what i want to make everything as equal then i want to make even as equal then odd i want uh, one more element to make it as uh, even then that even i am making it as zero so it is very simple right so if the xors are same I know that it's zero so we are just playing around with that we don't have to find anything else here so that's it and uh, this is the submission link what did we do if n is even i directly wrote how many operations are needed if n is odd uh, i am directly generalizing the answer so how do we get this logic we just need to try out and think that whether any standard solution exists or not uh, since they specifically told only eight operations are allowed so that's it guys uh, thank you see you in the next video